Hi, this is Lisa with CrochetMore.com. And working with our toilet tissue cover pattern, we've completed rounds one through seven. And to begin round eight, we need to make two chains, which I actually had listed at the end of round seven. We're gonna work into the back loop only now. The back loop only is the loop that's farthest away from you. Whereas before we worked the single crochets on the other round into the front loop only. So you're going to work a half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch on this previous round. So only into the back loop. So when you finish round eight, you should have a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of your stitches on the previous round. And you're gonna join with a slip stitch in the top of the beginning chain two. So where you made these two chains, you're gonna work into that top chain And work a slip stitch to join. Now you're going to make two chains and you're not going to turn the work. You're going to work a half double crochet in the back loop only of the previous round again. So only into the back loop. You're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch around.
Now that completes round nine. And again, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that beginning chain two. And then chain two and you're going to start again. So you're going to work this same round. You can see we've already started to form the portion that fits down over top of the toilet tissue roll. So that's round one through nine. And you're going to continue doing this same half double crochet in the back loop only. All the way through round 15. At the end of round 15, you're going to do the chain two and do not turn again. And then for round 16, it's almost the same, except you're going to work a half double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch and you're going to join it and then chain four. So I'm going to come back at the end of round 15 and I'll show you round 16. 